Obviously, everyone who is editing drums at their home is having a lot of trouble. I've made like four or five drum editing videos over the years and they are some of my best performing videos. And it's understandable, drum editing can be difficult, but it doesn't have to be. And with my latest method, I have the quickest and easiest way to edit drums, no matter what your primary DAW is. As most of you know, my primary DAW of choice is Logic. I mix and track in Logic, but I do not edit in Logic because, well, flex time is garbage. And if you're running into issues editing in your DAW, well, you got to check this out. Before we get into the good stuff, guys, I just want to remind everyone that I do hold a free mix training a couple times a week that is going to elevate your mixes. The link is in the description for that. And if you're having issues getting your mixes to stack up against your favorite bands and artists, this would be a great place to start because it's helped out so many other home studio engineers. All right, so if you are having trouble editing in your DAW, what you're gonna wanna do is download Universal Audio's free DAW Luna. Guys, this is the best DAW for editing drums and it is so quick and easy, which you're gonna see right here. You're gonna open up Luna and you are just gonna make a new session and make sure the BPM is the same as the original project. So for instance, this one was recorded at a BPM of 170. So I'm gonna change that right there. And then you're gonna basically just bounce your stems from your main DAW, which I've done right here. We have just some exported tracks and I'm just gonna select them all and drag them into this project, nice and simple. So here we have some raw drums that were recorded in my studio. Let's take a listen. Yeah, just some raw drums, but if we take a look here, we can see that these drums are decently in time, but they're, they're not right on the beat, which is how we want things nowadays is, you know, everybody's editing really tight to the grid. So, you know, we wanna do that as well and we wanna do it the quickest and easiest way possible. Our first task here is to group our drums, right? Like we do in every other DAW. So I'm gonna select the first track, which is our kick in on the left here. And then I'm gonna hold shift down and select the last track. It's gonna select all our drum tracks. And we're gonna come down here and hit add to add a group. We're gonna call it drums. And then we are gonna select just editing here. We're gonna hit okay and our drums are grouped. Next, what we're gonna do is change our warp mode to the Luna razor blade algorithm. So right here where it says warp, we're gonna change that to Luna razor blade. And this is just Luna's time stretch algorithm specifically made for drums. And this is one of the reasons why Luna is the best DAW for editing drums. You see, this algorithm was specifically made to take care of the front end of our drum transients. In a lot of other DAWs, when we start stretching and editing drums, their algorithms can mess with the front end of like the kick and snare transient. And that's when things start to sound a little weird and the drums themselves lose punch. All right, now next we are going to change our view from clips to warps. And this is going to show all the little markers here where our transients are. Next, we're going to come up to the queue here for quantize. It's going to open up this menu here on the left and we could select our grid value. For this song, because of you know, what the drum part is. I'm gonna select 16th note, but you might wanna go down to, you know, eighth. It really depends on, you know, what the song is, how the drummer played. And then also we can select what tracks we wanna edit by here. And I usually just do the kick and snare. So here I'm gonna select the kick in and the snare top. And lastly, over here on the left, uh, where it says auto apply, I'm gonna uncheck that box because I wanna select the, the areas that I'm, that I'm editing. And you're gonna see that right now. The last thing I like to do before I start editing is change my grid to 16th 
And then I also want to turn my snap mode off. Um, and it's just easier to move the cursor around that way. So I'm going to deselect that and we're ready to start editing. So this is where it gets really fast and easy. And I'll just show you how I typically do this. I would normally just start at the beginning of the song, but I would go really section by section. So this part here I know is the verse. I'm just going to select the whole thing and go over to the left and hit quantize. And it is going to put everything right on the money here. And we can even turn the click on to see and make sure. So right up here, we have the click track. I'll turn that metronome on. Yeah, and the only thing is you'll see sometimes, it's the only problem, once in a while, we will get a transient that is not picked up, uh, but we can just simply take that and move it to where it needs to be. See that one kick in this section wasn't picked up, but like I said, it's a simple fix. And then what you wanna do is basically just listen through that section that you just edited. And once you hear that it's all fine and dandy, then we can just come through and move to the next portion of the song, maybe do a few more measures or something like that. Hit quantize and take a listen. As you can see here, Luna is extremely accurate, very accurate, which makes this process super quick. So I'm just gonna run through here and do the whole song. So I was just moving along here and maybe you'll get to a section where you listen and it doesn't sound very good. It sounds like a little too edited. So for instance, listen to this, uh, this, this roll or this fill rather. Hear how those cymbals sound a little shuddery. So this would be a section where maybe I just want to edit by the kick. So I would select everything that's not a kick here and maybe take those out just in between all the kicks. And let's take a listen now. And there we have it. So I'm just selecting those transients I don't want and hitting delete. Now, Luna will prioritize the tracks that you've selected, like the kick in and the snare, uh, but it's still gonna put transients, you know, on some of the symbols, like, like right here. Those hi-hats. Uh, and if you don't want those, you know, to be edited and you wanna keep it a little bit more natural or it sounds weird, cause sometimes it sounds weird if we move like a ride or or a hi-hat hit because it, you know, those aren't very exact uh, transients like, you know, the kick and the snare. Uh, you can always delete those. So then now we have this. Now, I'd like you to take note of the time in the upper right-hand corner. But all that's left to do is export these tracks and put them back in your DAW of choice. It took me roughly five minutes to edit this whole song. Luna has cut my drum editing time down to a quarter of what it used to be. Now, of course, you still have to check your work with Luna and dive in there and sometimes make some, some little tweaks, but it is so much more accurate than what I'm used to and what I've seen in any other DAW. I would say on average, it takes me between five and 15 minutes to edit a song now, which is great. Now, as of the making of this video, Luna is free, but you do need to own or have owned a Universal Audio Thunderbolt interface to install Luna. Now, if you don't already own one of these interfaces, I would highly suggest checking out the video in the top corner here that I made showing you how these interfaces 
took me to another level like eight years ago when I originally got into these. I'm not a UAD spokesperson. They're not paying me to say this. I just firmly believe you should be using something of this quality over like a Focusrite or a Personas. Uh, I think the cheapest you can get in here is like $4.99. I think the Arrow is maybe $4.99 or something like that. But there are many, many reasons to make that investment. I, I really believe that. And I go over them again in that linked video. If you guys are having trouble with this editing method, let me know and I can help you out. Other than that, happy mixing. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure and go grab a copy of my home studio mix guide with your go-to EQ and compression settings for all your tracks. And also go ahead and register for my online mix training that I hold a couple times a week so that you can learn how to turn your home recorded tracks into a professional product.